Right, this is a continuation from yesterday's video slash stream involving, again, a beginner's guide if for a person playing in 2020, just getting into Black Desert Online, and the best way to go about getting the most out of your playtime. Um, yesterday was the continuation of part one, and part one was basically setting everything up, getting from, not necessarily any kind of level, but getting all the way through all of the quests, and everything associated with them all the way through Calpheon because if you get through everything up to Calpheon and through Calpheon you get all these rewards that come from the Black Spirit, that come from your claim rewards, pressing Y on the keyboard, all that kind of stuff. So you want to make sure you get those things because those are what gives you access to all this free stuff. Um, that includes gear, leveling gear, etc materials, things to enhance your character, inventory space, pets, all of that, and a T5 horse. So you get all that just from the quest line. So you want to make sure you do that whole chunk. It also gives you access to cliff weapons, etc, etc. In addition to all those things you get from that, there's also the event going on with the Oasis that ends in June. And there's also the event going on with the last part of the anniversary that also ends in June. I went over that in the last video. So we're going to be grinding a bit more, getting a lot more things done, getting a lot more Asula pieces. And again, there's always the subjugations on the map that are in Medea that give you accessories that are pretty good jumping off points. So once you get those accessories, once you get the levels to get the event gear, you should be in a pretty good spot. So we're going to be continuing from there. We ended yesterday's video with um, overnight training AFK, just for people that don't know how to use the training dummies and what they're what they're about. And that was at 56. I just hit 56. I left uh, my character training, brand new account, brand new character, no pearls, nothing, just training with the silver I had on the dummy, and they're already about to hit 57. Um, like I said yesterday in the previous video, they can't jump between levels. You have to get that last percent yourself in the real world. The training dummies will allow you to progress in between 56 and 57, or, or, or in between levels. So it's 56, but it's 56.99. We have to get that other percent grinding. So we're going to get started with that. We're going to do more grinding to unlock more gear more free stuff, places to go to get more free stuff and get that last Asula piece. That's going to be the highlights for this particular video. Plus, we're probably going to start showing you guys, especially new players, how you can go about completing the new adventure journals right away so you can get gains from that as well because those give you stats, those gives you items, they give you a lot of things as well. So we'll get started with that and get underway. You always try to, <laughs> always try to enhance one, see if we get lucky. But there's no materials in the thing, and I need a T8. A T8 Corsair, not that. Yeah, they're coming to market. Let's see here, Corsair training. We got Forest Breath, that's Doom. They have 900 Forest Breath up. Oh, Man, forest, deep forest breath comes from everything, though. So you're good there. Oh, look who's, look who's yeah, showing yeah, yeah. up. Oh, wow. Well. Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage? Now I, I beat Streets of Rage yesterday, so... There you go. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to it. At some point. Charles, you better not prepare to win that, because if you do that shit, I'm going to have to match you. And I don't want to do that. Don't fucking do uh, it, man. I'm not doing it. Don't, I'm not doing it. That's way too much. Pay to win a dream much. horse is a bit much, yeah. Yes. I mean, you can spend the silver that you got and get the materials and throw yeah. in some crimes and do like 10 attempts and yeah, maybe you'll get one. Maybe you won't. But... Cosmo, you don't have a T8? I thought you did. Nah, I, just, I have a T7. Hmm. I've been looking on the market every day for a T8. Oh shit. I think you can get a T8 from something, but I think that event's over. 
Yeah, because I still have a, yeah. a registration, T8 registration emblem in one of my characters. Yeah. Mm. They were giving them out at one point. Nope, now I'm gonna go take my horse over to the stable, get some materials off the market, and do three attempts. If you get a fucking Doom horse, star, I'm gonna <laughs> fuck you up. Uh, uh, if, you get, if I get a Doom horse, you're gonna pay to win a Doom horse, I bet. Watch. No, I'm not taking that bet. You gotta, you gotta get a T8, T8 Corsa first, though. There are no T8s in the market either, are there? Nope. I've been, I looked up yesterday, I haven't looked today. You see, they there were a lot of them before... What was that? I guess during the middle of the anniversary thing, there were a lot of horses in the market. I'm not sure why. I don't think anything in the mm. anniversary had anything to do with horses, though. Unless I'm mistaken. Do you remember anything with horses? Mm -mm. Nope. Not sure about that one. Yeah, so I'm kind of confused as to why the anniversary stuff is coming to a close. It's not even over yet, but it's coming to a close. And all of a sudden there are no T... It's just the T8s, right? The T7s and T6s still exist, or no? Exist, yes. On the market? Not sure, because I haven't looked at the market. But I'm pretty sure they're probably still there. I just looked at my crons. I have 400 crons. I can do four attempts, actually. Yeah, they're 100 each. You gotta buy... Was it Krogdala thing? Mm -hmm. Whatever it's called. Or you can make it if you have a bunch of the earth and swinging wind charm things. What are the... What are the things required for upgrading? I can start collecting those. Stuff from camera. What are you trying to? What are you trying to uh, make them? A doom horse? A doom. So the spirit leaf, the earth hoof, and I think that's it, right? That those are the two doom ones: spirit leaf and earth hoof. And um, you can collect the other materials. Just don't, don't um, make them the majority of your attempt, and it'll give a higher chance to giving you a doom horse over the over the others. Because that's how it works. They all go towards maximizing your chance to actually, or, or yeah, maximizing your chance to actually perform and make and make a dream horse. But whichever one is higher, that's the one that's going to have more of a chance. The material that's higher is going to have more of a chance to give you that ah, particular okay. horse. So that's how it works. Which is why I was saying back in the day, it was easier to get a um, a unicorn because they had, they've always had Spirit Leaf and all the other materials out. We just didn't have Doom Horse out. So back then, Spirit Leaf and Hoof counted as just giving you the chance to perform it, but they didn't count towards any particular horse. How much per attempt do you need as far as materials? Um, I what was it? You need well when you look at it at Stone Town Ranch, it shows you like a little window, oh. and I think you need to get over at least a hundred to start. So, so there's like a window to actually do it, which needs to be satisfied, and you need to get over a hundred in that. And then once you're over a hundred in that, you can actually go ahead and um, start enhancing. But whichever one's the majority of it, that's going to be what you have a higher chance of getting. It's still RNG though, but that's what you have a higher chance of getting. Stuff on the market? Hmm. Well, no, how much are the leaves? I think 
least are gonna be pretty cheap because you can actually grind those. They they fall for every single mob in Kama. As well as there's a bunch yeah. of a quest you can do to yeah. obtain the leaves and turn them in for hooves or something. Like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over at old wisdom tree. One for one, right? So one. Yes, they are. And then the yeah. event ones that are uh, that are blue items, you can't really get those in any way except for the actual event itself. What? Is that red? Where? I saw somebody hit level 57. Mm, that was me. Oh, that's I'm right. You're honey. That's right. Yeah, yeah I'm my, my archer. My archer account. He's yeah. honey conquistador. You confuse me because your arg is logged in, and then you gotta get the arch. Alright, I'm headed to Alta Nova. Get my materials and then go to the ranch. I finally got a black shard, a Gogman Dark. First nice. one ever. So Ended up making like 300 million yesterday. Yeah. Uh, j just buy a red and you're all set. I already sold it and I already made a ton of credit sold. Nice. I think I have nine. I have nine reds just sitting in storage. No black, so it's weird That's because racist. it's just the exact reverse for um, what's it? Uh, history. Yeah, yeah history oh, has history. the reverse. The red stuff drops all the time. The black ones don't. Wait, sorry. The black ones do all the time. The red ones don't. None of these attempts are gonna make it. But I think I have like under 10 fail stack already. So we'll see. I want a unicorn so I can fly across the desert. I want a unicorn too, but I'll, I'll take a deer. Um, yeah, I'll take but a deer. I, I, I was trying for unicorn for a long time. V out, V out, V out! Are you in Auckland right now? <laughs> no, I'm watching a Nova War. I put a, uh, I put a ticket in like a week ago. I keep getting a notice saying we're behind on responding to tickets. Please be patient. Oh, because of the whole COVID-19 thing. Probably. We're probably all at home. But I'm like. You guys, if you're at home, just remote in. It's not that. It's not that hard. Unless they fired everybody. Well, some places aren't even working at all. Like, they don't have like work coming out or going. But that'd be weird for like a company that's involved in tech, because they could just. That's kind of like on a regular day, people remote in most tech offices. Yeah. Oh, I just hit 57, so I don't need to worry about that actually because I'm wearing the Oasis gear, so. But I have it unlocked. The, um. The anniversary offhand. 
Oh, you can go to those vendors, get that try gear and just level up character. Yeah, it's available at 56. I'm wearing it currently since I was 56. And I just remembered, oh wait, I can use, use the, these, the uh, anniversary gear, but the anniversary gear is going to stay there until, until June. I can collect it, and it's going to stay afterwards. The Oasis gear, my understanding is, is that it's going to go away, though. It will vanish after June. Which leaves me wondering something, though. If you put... Because they can hold crystals. If you put your crystals yeah. and stuff in there, what happens to your crystals and stuff? They stay in there, your gear will just be red X'd. Mm. And so, like it's broken? Yeah. So, so I guess you could take it out, then. So. Right. Yeah. But the gear, the gear itself will have no stat value. Yeah, and you can't wear it, because it'll be fully depleted. Interesting. So you put a you put a gen something in there or an L car, like ah, I want it back. We're talking hundreds of millions of silver. Exactly. That's how they get you. Put a put a gem in, you need to take it out. What do you do have to do? Go to the pearl shop to get a stupid essence, waste the money on it to extract a hundred million silver this, this node has villainous right which I'm watching it to Rorkins villainous relevance <laughs> ingenium <laughs> oh, I hope they fuck up ingenium Kids, that's a good oh. fight it's actually a pretty good fight it's because these gears are more these guilds are more closer in gear that's why compared to the ones that's, they're running into yeah, that's how, yeah. Be, that's, how, that's how it should be T2 should be you know, within maybe 10 to 20 gear score, everybody. And be a decent fight. Not fucking 730 See, that, That's gear. why I'm not entirely sure why they did the whole thing with T1s, where they like, split it up between like different APs and DPs and whatnot. But they left all the other ones. It's, it's because like, they overcomplicate the everything. But it was, yeah, it was just overly complicated. It's like, well, it doesn't make any sense. Your original purpose for T1 and T2s when you out, at the outset was for it to be a thing where guilds was split up based on like, you know, ability and or, or, or gear, and that didn't happen. And your solution to that is to make another tier thing? Nah, it's a terrible... Oh, we know it's just a terrible approach, the way they separated the node wars. It's an easy fix, but I don't... I don't know if it'll ever get fixed. I mean, we were watching uh, Choice to Stream a couple of days ago, Ark. Oh my god, uh, Two days ago. I had to stop he, watching that. And he clearly outgeared the majority of the guild they were fighting. And he was like 1v5ing. Um, that's what happens. He was only fighting, and Brutal was there too. No, that was, that was the wrong, sorry. Was that Brutal? Yeah, Brutal was there too. But anyway, yeah, they were fighting some guild there, some, some lower level guild that was on that node. And he was like 1v5ing, and he was talking, he was like, man. Do I miss the days when I was one of the few people with 270 AP and I was fucking um, out gearing everyone and fucking he could kill everybody with a single cannon blast. So and I'm prior to him that saying there? that, no, um, not really, because people, were, uh, people, he, he was killing people, but it wasn't like I guess when he when 270 was like a really high thing. Mm -hmm. um, and he was like one of the few, very, very few that could outgear basically everybody in his guild, wherever he was, whatever guild he was in, with Black Rose. Mm -hmm. That cannon blast for one tap, everything, like one hit. Well, he's not wasn't one hitting this, and it took like three cannon blasts. Uh, whatever happened to Black Rose, the whole anyway, thing. Black Rose fell apart when that whole exploit thing came out, right? Or are they're they still, still here? around? They're still around, but I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. They're still around, they're just not as strong as they used to be. They lost a lot of people to, to that exploit ban, yeah. Some people or if, left, some people or, got or banned. If, yeah, if they didn't get if they didn't get banned, they have a negative balance of a billion hundreds of billions of dollars for silver, so But um, yeah, he was saying that and prior to him saying that I'd said these guys are all the same. These guys I guarantee you he's like fucking the only reason he plays this game the way he does is he can outgear everybody and be able to one-shot everybody. And sure as shit, um, two minutes later he said that. <laughs> he said that very close to that. He said, uh, "Mr. Days, where I just outgeared everyone." I'm like, and he's a he's a, he's a mechanically good player. He doesn't have to outgear people. 
to beat them. He knows what he's doing on, on character, right? Because he plays Zerk, and I'm watching him play. Um, but no, it's not enough. It's like players like him and a lot of them just want to outgear everyone and one tap everybody. But what game is heading in that direction? Warframe, right? Warframe doesn't have PvP. It doesn't. It does. Oh, you're right. No, it's, it's not, right. it's it not a thing yeah. that people do. Why it does that? have PvP. Because it's not very good. Mm. It's never been a thing. I mean, there's no videos of Warframe PvP. Barely any. It's just sad looking. He's wrong. We have a pitiful, pitiful looking horse. Ooh. You talking about my horse? Yep. <laughs> Why are you in front of my horse? Get away from my horse! Charles, don't you dare Wait, talk you, about my you horse. You're right there in the back with a brand new horse. Hold on, I'll be right back. Don't you talk about my fucking horse, Charles. Alright, I already feel bad enough as it is about... about it. I never really cared about horses. I don't, I don't know why I'm, I'm fascinated with horses now. I have no idea. Nostalgia. You just like the look of the Doom horse. I do. So with Kronos you only lose 50... You only lose half. Yeah. You lose half, yeah. You lose half. So I only bought about 250... <clears throat> ...material off the market for Doom attempts, so... Might be enough? I don't even know. Oh. Well, it also gains fail stacks, but as Casey found, and as others have found, the fail stacks really don't mean too much. Mm -hmm. Because I think someone, I think it was Red, got their Doom Wars like very, very low, and Casey kept going and going and going, and eventually got his like much, much higher. Yeah, Red was number nine attempt, I think. Yeah. You have to take the armor off, right? All the yep. Stuff. Gotta take everything off. You can get, then you can invest in that um, special horse gear at Stone Talon too. Fuck you, he's not investing in nothing! <laughs> How much is my horse worth in the market? So Stone Tail Ranch does not have a horse market? That's kind of retarded. Yeah. I don't think it does. That is kind of strange since it's like the specialized horse place. Speaking of specialized horse places, I guess I should look at my skills real quick. Oh All right, of course we're trained. Okay, here we go. I put the material in and I hit training. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna need a lot more than 250. Oh my god. I gotta. Ugh, I'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna have enough to do four attempts. I can only do like two. The budget just fell too. That gets pricey. You guys are expensive. Especially if you don't have the traces. That can be another big expense too. Actually work pretty good. It might be the rough night or something like that either. You fail to awaken the courser. I like how the horse breaks apart in the after image. So like sad. And shadowy. Another 50 off the market. Another 50 of what? Material, anything I can use to. <clears throat> for the. I can 
buy some hooves. Come by. What's the fodder? That's the flying. That's the Pegasus. That's Pegasus for fodder, yeah. Let's get pure forest bread. Let me just get 50 hoof roots. Fish, uh, the conch shell, that's for, that's for unicorn. Oh. And so Spirit is the pouch? thing, uh, I think the rainbow thing is for unicorn too. Spirit pouch is for, um, Pegasus. Dine. Yeah, the Dine. Yeah, Dine. Okay, I am 200%. Crown stone check. Dream horse go. You have failed. The horse you have failed the doom you. balls. <clears throat> what was that? Horse luck. Gotta get horse luck. They CTG to their base. Okay. No, I was just seeing. Really? I'm trying to see if I see Doodle Bugger Days getting. More energy. One arc. That was funny. I wasn't even paying attention to that. That happened in less than a week of yeah. grinding at Ackman. There are a lot of gains to be had.
Alright, try it. We can do one more attempt. Good luck! I wish I could add a fail stack to it. So I have a shit time. What happened? Hmm? Did you try it? Ah, uh, no, I just got here. Okay. What the hell? Hmm? 
I just gave it a hundred forest breath and it only went up like 40% training? What? In the world? That's strange. That's... I don't understand what just happened. It's supposed to be went to one, I thought. Yeah, me too. Oh, wait. What does the window say for the forest breath? Like, just the forest breath. Because at a certain point, if you keep putting in more of one type, it will have diminishing huh? returns. Uh... Th that's why you just can't stack one. That's why they always said, you know, split it up, but keep one of them the one you want higher. Right. I did not know that. Yeah. There should be something there, like, in the column for the, for the material you're using. It should say something like that. I forget what the exact language is, but it's something to the effect of it does have like some kind of diminishing return after a certain amount of one particular one. Could be any of them. I think it's basically like half. Yeah, yeah effects are the half after training level exceeds 100%. Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't even know that. Of that one particular That's type. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I have to run back to the mall. And then back. The last Asula piece from that subjugation grind. So I will take that. Put that on. So yeah, you can pretty much almost get the 200 AP paying for nothing, doing nothing, just leveling, and then um, doing all the quests, and then doing all the event stuff in the game now. Rod the box, just 200 AP. You can make level 61 on a questing alone. Yeah. There's a lot of XP quests you can do. And you can get at least four different pets. Wait, where's my where's my horse? That's a good question too. I don't know if I'm going to do any adventure logs though, because those are quite involved, so I'm going to just leave those alone actually, now that I think about it. Alright, I'll just buy some of these. Wait, Charles. Uh, what? What are you doing? I'm buying a horse material, do one You're more such a Fucking piece of shit! And I'm like old for everything so far, and this and this is gonna be one of those plus thirty-five or more fail stack type doom attempts. There's still that one quest for the general accessory. That's um like a laugh. I'm not even sure why they did that. Like, it truly serves no purpose. I mean, it's like, come on, why did you guys do that?
box break gives so many quests now. Oh, I need to I need to start collecting my boss scrolls. Yeah, I'm meaning to do that again. Kind of forgot again. Contribution points at the box, small that. All right, here we go again. Third attempt. Hilarious. That's funny. You know, Arg, how I always had the... <laughs> On some wars, I would put out my... Uh, my... Hall of Hero speech. Mm -hmm. you remember that? Yeah. Um, so, when this fight just ended, Villain is just one. It was pretty, It was a good fight between both of them. Both of those. Um... One the somebody in uh in in uh villainous which is Corinth. Who's Corinth? He was here. Was that Yes. Corinth who was Corinth? I forgot who he was. Um He wrote and say, You will all be remembered in the Hall of Heroes. But weren't you just telling work working about that the other day? Well yeah, I didn't I know he remembers it because when I came into his chat No, but there if you but if you're in his chat, they're there, so no, I no, I know that. But when they were here, I used to say that. I know. Uh, and then when I came into his channel, he was like re telling me about remember the whole of heroes. And he just they just so said it to fucking ingenium. I was like, find that funny. I'm, like, I'm gonna copyright that. That's my stuff. First of all, there's like a speech that goes with it, right before war. I remember I used to write this whole thing out. It was funny. That's back attack damage. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, that attempt face. failed. Another Ew. failure. Unlocked at adventure logs. Now, if I can just figure out where those are on the new UI. So, use the old UI and you unarg. There's one tier 8 course on the market right now. Oh, Latte, let me see. Socket oh. Blue. It's got a uh, mediocre. It's got uh, 15 of 20 skills. It's a billion silver. I'm gonna get billion down in the face. Got two seater, S sideways, S instant and cell, S four chop, S hind kicks, sideways, charge, instant excel, sprint is like ten percent. Drift. So you how do you know I'm sorry, sorry, how do you know if it's a courser or not? It's got the golden it has a gold icon. Yeah. Icon next to the actual horse. Okay. So, uh, I, so you, what do you have to have leveled up in order to start doing? Level 30. And be it's a level. Yeah, it's level it. 30. That's it. That's all I need? Yeah. It uh, needs to be level 30 and it needs to have that particular skill. 
Okay, there's certain S skills that it needs. Does it have all the S skills that it needs? Look at it, Charles. Look at it! Look at it! Also, I don't know how I get back to the old UI. Because I, I just set that as default on R, because I have no idea how you do it on new accounts. I have S instead of Excel. We need that. I think it's S sideways. It is breedable. One, one breed available. I forgot what is. I don't know. But it has everything to meet the courser, so it is a courser, and just take it over to the stable and do some attempts. But it's a billion silver. Yeah, I have three billion. I mean, that's that was not, for that's a not, that's not a bad buy, but, <laughs> but yeah, if you don't have a tier yeah. at all, you see, I think uh, I, even, no. I think I even have an unleveled tier eight actually. It's sitting in a, because they did give us one. It's, it's sitting in a um, stable somewhere. You know where it is? I just, I just thought about it. It's in um, Sangrain, I think. No, no, no. Yeah, it's in Sangrain, I think. What, really? Hmm. Yeah, it has to be there. The other one I'm thinking of is a tier 7 and it's not a Sangrain, it's um... It's um... An Alter Nova. A T8 like that for a billion silver? Man. Does, but does it have all these stuff? It has all the S's that it needs? SXL, X, Sprint, S, um... What is the other one? Not Sideways. Is this well, sideways? for a Courser? Yeah. It has, S, it has S... Yeah, I mean, I thought it just had to be a Courser, which it is. So well, I, I, I forget if being a Courser means that it also has those skills, or if you can be a Courser and not have those. Because I think you have to... I, cause if it's silver, that means it can become a hor it can become a courser. It can become a courser, but it's not cor courser currently. That thing is a courser right now. Okay, no. so it's gold. And I, let me just look at mine. I think so. Mine will have all the stuff. Well, this isn't mine actually. This is this is this all. Uh, I bought it anyways. I could sell, resell it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we need to go out to Kama and just start farming T9 mats and selling them, because these things... They sell for a lot. I sell them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jeez. That's why I go to Ronoros for it. Ronoros drops a lot of the Spirit Leaf. I just sell that in stacks. When I go out there. Get the leaf from uh, the Voodoo Doll Scroll? You can. What do you... You get something off of that. You can get yeah. um, Narc Earrings, too. You can get... The leaves. I think you can get other horse materials too. I'm not entirely sure. Hang on, hang on. Let me see what I'm up to here right now. Let's replace stuff. You can also get a free boat somewhere, like a free barge, like a free boat somehow. Figure out how you do that. But I know you can. I can't hear well, since I was kicked in the head by a horse when I was a kid. Uh oh. What horse is that, Charles? T8. Mine's T8. A T8 Corsair. Oh, yours looks different than mine. Mine's all white. Can you hide the horse armor? Hold up. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. They hide all this crap too. Get rid of this junk. It's a junk. There you go. Yeah, that's way better.
Doom Horse has 25 of 25 skills and they are all maxed out. forgot about the black spirit energy how you can use energy to like get buffs from it skill like skill and, and stuff I totally forgot about that until like right now is that the horse is that the one right there yeah So you had three billion silver, huh? Mm -hmm. You know, if you would have sold twenty-eight costumes, you would have got your doom horse. You're my man. <laughs> I need to figure out how to use this thing to make a doom horse. Where the menu for that? Where's the menu for that? You, you gotta to go, go to two. Yeah. Stone Tail Ranch. Yeah. It's only there for some odd reason. Which is in the middle of what is this, Redia? Yep. I never. Yeah. Gula. Gulia. Julia. Julia. Gulia. It's Gula. G U L A. Gula. Gula. I haven't had a good Gouda in a, long, in a while, actually. I like a good Gouda. Got a smoked Gouda. Got buttered Gouda. Smoke's where it's at, though. So how much did I just waste on a doom those doom attempts? Probably like 500 million. Yeah. Because uh, one assault is very expensive. But all these stuff blows up. Yeah. All right. And what is it that you need for the for those attempts? What are the name of the, the items? Uh, what are you going for? A doom horse? Yeah. You're gonna need a lot of spirit leaf and a lot of um, those earth hooves. You want those to be the highest in each attempt, and then the other materials you want to use to to buff up your chance to get to the threshold, which are gonna be conch shells, hearts, spirit beast pouches. You know, spirit beast pouches always drop from hunting stuff. Is that where's that found in there? That's not found in the spirit leaf because I can't find that. Um, it should be in there. Go to I guess go to mounts maybe. Maybe some need there. A mount and then courser training at the bottom. Okay. Spirit pouch of ferocious beast. Yep. That one is one to use to just yeah, that's fodder, but make sure it's not maxed out. Because that gives you a higher chance for um Pegasus. Oh, that's for Pegasus? Yeah, but you want to use... So how it works is, there's a threshold you have to meet. You have to meet 100% on the um, overall enhancement chance. But you can go to 200. And what you're doing is you're getting materials and putting them into these windows to increase the overall chance. It's one-to-one -one for every material until that material is at 100%. But then the overall enhancement chance needs to be over 100%, so you can actually get chances to enhance. Um, so you want to, you're going to end up using all the materials, but the one you want 
have the higher chance to give you the Doom Horse, you want to make sure those columns are higher. So that's going to be Spirit Leaf and the Earth um, Hoof or whatever. There's no Spirit... Spirit does? Yeah, there's no Spirit Leaves here. Hmm. What's it called? Yeah. It's called like Spirit something. Let me see. Do I have a maid? I don't have a maid yet on this, on this account, but I might be getting one soon. Oh well, yeah, you, you also get free maids. Also, I'm leveling up now too. Only mats now for T9 over the third Doom. That's it. What are mats are those? I'm looking at this window. I don't know what I'm looking at. All I see is Swain Wind Shards, Deep Blue Hoof, Pure Deep, Forest Deep Breath. Deep Blue Hoof is the Pure Forest Breath is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, Pure Forest Breath is okay. the Spirit Leaf thing. Yeah, it looks like a okay. leaf. In yeah. the description yeah. below, you'll see it says Doom. Yeah, Deep Blue Hoof and Spirit and um, Forest Breath are the was... ones that are needed for uh, Doom Horse. But if you get those columns all the way to 100%, then you have diminishing returns. So that's why you want to like balance it out, get the levels up, but then you want to max out the columns for Doom, so you have a higher chance to get Doom. No, that's Charles says something in yellow for Doom, but I don't even see that. In the description. It's in the, it's in the description at the below each other. So if you look at the the hoof or the pure forest breath at the bottom in the description, you'll see in yellow which type of horse it's for. Dying hey, or not do okay. it. I see it. Oh fuck, that came that was hard. That hurt my butt a lot. The hell? Ooh, someone just failed tet distortion ring. I hope that was Kron. Even if it wasn't it probably has it still has a chance to degrade. Oh, it's pure forest breath and you need pure forest breath and blue hooves. Mm -hmm. And what else do you need besides that? Those are the ones you want to max out. The ones you want to use as fodder are all the other ones. Conch is probably the more mean? expensive one. What do you mean so, fodder? Stone tail fodder? It's well, in that list of materials. I, I mean, see it. No, I, 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 I mean fodder in terms of. So, how the window works is. You have to bring your ch your overall chance to 100 and above to even enhance the horse. But then each column, each material, has its own threshold for when it starts to have diminishing returns. Which is what she was talking about earlier because he came over there with 100 and then it only took the column up to 50% because it has diminishing returns. So what you want to do is you want to use the other materials for the other horses as fodder just to get your chance up closer to 100 percent or above and then you want to max out the uh blue deep blue hoof and the forest breath those are the two you want to max out because whichever one's higher on the list that's going to give you the higher chance for that horse Wait, you're saying 100 percent but I, it wouldn't let me coarser train unless i was 200 percent even. Yeah. Sorry. But when when you use cron stones though, if you're at two hundred percent you'll drop to fifty. So yeah, so that's hundred percent. So you can start from there. But yeah, you, you need to get a two hundred percent overall. It's a process, it really is.
Yeah, I might as well just save up and buy the damn thing at some point. Or we start grinding Kama Sylvia religiously, because this is going to take a while. Yep. I will be back. I'm gonna grab some water and a quick snack too. Oh shit, I'm up to ten riffs. Uh, mm. I had to do those. At least a couple. Fucking riffs.
early spark blew up. Steel Nux. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so awakening is <laughs> kill that thing strong. I wanna fly up your butt all oh. night. Oh shit.
this game has a problem with effects. Every time we do effects, um, your frame rate drops. Yeah. Just part of the optimization that they've never fixed. If they could fix that, the game would run really, really smooth. Supposed to come out with a, a new underlining graphic engine when they come out. When it gets closer to the Crimson Desert. Whenever that thing. As a matter of fact, let me look that up. Because we haven't heard anything from Crimson Desert since November. Let's see if there's anything. Crimson Desert's going to console. <laughs> it's not going to PC. <laughs> Fuck you. It's going to PS4. Kill Farid. Loki.
What's it gonna take, Charles, from five billion, from six billion? What's it gonna take? Hmm? What do you mean? Five billion from six billion. From six billion all the way up to ten billion. Doom horse! What do you mean twelve billion? What do you mean? Oh, the one with the, the one with the, with all the skills, yeah. Well, most, uh, yeah, I mean, unless you get a level five doom horse or something with the skills aren't complete or he's not leveled up, then you'll probably get it for like 10. But if you get a level 30 doom horse, regardless of the skill percentage, he's around 12 billion. Box of the store dead. Cavalli. And back. But oh. Kavari and I'm 
marketplace director, Lucy Bell. Okay, let me go get those free dust. Free dust? What? Not free. The ancient spirit dust from these event bosses. Mm. Spirit dust? I'll have like a hundred and something of that dust. That's money right there. That's a lot of dust. Yikes. Right, dust, dust, dust. Yeah, there, I have three of those event bosses up. Microsoft Series X console. That's the new oh. Xbox. I heard about that. Xbox, yeah. Series X. They're showing uh, they had a first today, game yeah. preview. Uh -huh. Yeah, first game preview. They showed Valhalla and something called um, The Medium. Everyone's mm -hmm. stoked for Valhalla, though, so you didn't really... Like, off, off, off of the presentation, like, other, like follow-up so I didn't see too much about the other things because everyone was too busy talking about Valhalla. I wish to see Medea turn green. Of my hopes. I'm saying Crimson Desert is going to be on PS. Have you got a house you're looking for right now? now There's no release date for a PC gonna be on PS but they have Black Desert yeah. on Xbox why would they what that was, that's that was the last article I just I just read it like three hours it's <clears throat> three hours three day old article so it's gonna be on uh, PlayStation 4 or even 5 or whatever is the new PlayStation is called but why would they do that if they already Cause so it's not gonna be an Xbox at all then this is Pearl Abyss they don't know what they're doing that makes no Everybody sense. that works here looks young as hell. Mm hmm. Watching this Valhalla trailer. This Cavalli dude is such a fucking dumb fucking horse. Constantly fucking. Cavalli. Stomping on the ground as he's seeing you. Oh, the. Yeah. Boss for um, what is that place? Torch's grave. This Valhalla game is gonna be savage. 
At least I hope it is. I heard they made it shorter than Odyssey because a lot of people, I wasn't one of them, but a lot of people complained about Odyssey being too long. Why would you complain that video games too long? Yeah. It's stupid. I, I don't know. What the hell is wrong with people? You gonna tell me Zelda was too long too? Nope, Zelda was great. Final Fantasies are too long? Jeez. It's these same people, dude. The same people that complain about Division. And like, oh, it's too hard, and they can't get past legend. Like, they can't get past challenging, because they're terrible players, and they don't do any mechanics. Get up at five in the morning, one more time for the week. Oh damn! But next week, I'm home all week for telework. He'll be here eating ass all week. Right. Wait. Yeah, that's true. Actually. Two hundred spirit days. Spirit days. That was really loud. I hope the neighbors heard that. So they canceled the Prince of Persia game. Yikes. The one that was coming out, the, the latest one, got canceled. I think I, I played almost all of them. I played almost all of them too, including like the really, really old ones. Yeah, I think the one Ubisoft. I remember. Yeah. yeah, I think the, the last one I played was the one where he, he had that growth on his arm. Yeah, I played the one with the time thing, rewinding that. I think that was the last yep. one I played, rewinding back and forth through time. That was one of the very last. Oh, is Scorn that horror thing? That was also previewed there. Was it Scorn? What? I think I saw Scorn. It's like a horror, body horror, like weird, um, not Lovecraftian, but well, who is that other guy that did Aliens? Like Book of Necronomicon kind of stuff. That's what it is. It's just based on an alien planet. You play this like creature character as like organic, but all the organic stuff is like. Necronomicon, isn't that from Evil Dead? Yeah, it's from that too. Yeah, Scorn, yeah, this is it. The thing that's all weird, like it's like bioorganic machines, it looks very alien like, alien the movie like, I mean. And it's kind of like body horror. That was also previewed today at the um at the Xbox Series X. I guess the, it's gonna be released on that. Because I've seen previews for Scorn way back when. So, it must be slated for this now. Yeah, Scorn has a lot of body horror kind of thing. At least it was slated as being like a horror movie kind of situation. Or a horror game. To an extent, has like action and stuff like that too.
All these Kafirs right now. Make some Kafirs! I feel like there should always be these event bosses, at least two or like three of them. Yeah, but they don't. They again. It's random. It's um, like you almost have it right, guys.
It's a long ass ride to get down to Grana. Oh. Coming all the way from Valencia. Are you, are you like riding? They could have bought it. This is why I need a Doom Horse. I have 200 p Eventually 200 I'll do something with them. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, several scrolls? You, you can make a profit. I mean, they're not worth much. Yeah. They were 1.1. They all came from Bachman. Concentrated Blackstone, what the fuck is that for? Where'd you get that? A reward. From the daily reward. Mm, that, I forget what those are for, but there's Blackstones for the Monos and um, Life School gear. And then there's the one for the Black Star. What's it called, Concentrated? Does it look like kind of purplish and oval? It's oval, it looks kind of silverish. Silverish? Oh, that's for, um... That's for the monos and life skilling gear and stuff. Show up some butt. Uh oh.
use them. We'll sell that too. That singing? That's the first time I've actually heard the tune. Usually it's just music. What but this time, this time it's actually singing. At a town of pond. The NPC is actually singing. I can hear her singing. Oh, my horse is going to drown forever. Stay there. Don't fall me into the water, stupid horse. Yeah, she's singing. I'd heard that she does that, but I've never actually heard it before. Ooh, the fairy? No, no, no. Atanas Pond, the, the node manager. Hmm. I've never actually heard it. It has the same beat that's around Camus Sylvia, like in the general area, not Grano. She is singing right now. Erif's... Erif... I'm not... Ah. Erf... Fianzo. I have no idea how to say that name. Her fiance? And then Mary is playing the harp. Sal Soldari. What's that? Someone's giving me a gift of repayments. I don't know who they are. Soldari? Oh, that's this that's this account. That's this elf. Oh okay. It's like Soldarian. Alright, who's trying to who's trying to violate me? Horse needs a carrot. Mm -hmm. 
So what I'm gonna do now is probably head down to Polly and grind him up there. The new Polly's is pretty lucrative. Both EXP skill point and money wise. Plus it's perfect for a new account because you don't have weight and things in Chemist Sylvia weigh next to nothing, so there's that. Here I come. So these Matroshka pieces. Yeah, that's for the other event. Matroshka. I got 17 of those. You only need three to make one. You have to turn it into... um. I think it says who you're supposed to turn in the Matroshka pieces to. <laughs> Matroshka. It's definitely Russian. Yeah. Dilly would be surprised to know that we're speaking Russian. He thinks <laughs> I'm Russian. He thinks I'm Russian. That was hilarious. I thought you all, all you guys are Russians. <laughs> to be fair, the Gil logo back then was a Russian word, which essentially meant blocked. But that was only because we were playing on the Russian service at the time. I thought it was hilarious, the way it looked, the text. Because all like the flyover text appears as Russian in the Russian game, obviously. So crits in Russian, all the damage flying over you is in Russian. So it just looked funny. Good old Dilly. But yeah, Camus Sylvia, the way they've changed polys. I really haven't tried Fatus, but new polys is great, especially. Like, if you don't have a lot of weight, it's perfect. Those things in Camus Sylvia do not weigh that much. Oh, fuck. What are you doing now, anyway? I'm just... Uh, downloading my inventory from those three bosses I killed. Mm. Uh, I sold the uh, Kaffir stones uh, and what else? Wait, do I'm you still have, have rift bosses left over? Or no? You're all yeah, I had bosses. ten. I had oh, yeah, ten. ten. Okay. I think I, I, I have. I, I got it down six. to three last week. Yeah, I have six. And They're then all new. Then yeah, now I have ten again. I have another two event ones, which means that's another two hundred spirit days. I wonder oh, if I those bosses. Wait, where'd you get the Matroshka dolls then from? The Matroshka dolls? Mm -hmm. I was getting them at. Oh, okay. I think even this account has like one. Yeah, it has one Matroshka. What are the rewards for that? Um, I think she was saying if you open it, it get, it has a higher chance to give you another one that has better quality. It's one of those things. Like, it's like those Russian dolls. Maybe those things are called Matroshka dolls. I don't know. But um, you open it. There's another one inside. You open it. You open it. You open it. They had another event like that where they had something similar. Hey, I'm already at Polly's. Um, let me back up. We go turn it. But yeah, I forget where the turn in is, but it should say. I just clicked on it. Demetorska. Under attack? Really? 
Amount's fine. He's just chilling. Stop saying he's under attack. He's not under attack. Hey, he's fine. Where's the other Polly's place? Just so I can have both. It's somewhere down here. I think actually that's it. Yeah. I'm going to be killing Polly's. So I might as well get the quest for them. Matroska. Yeah, I think Charles has said like one of the rewards is definitely fail stacks out of them. This account only has the one, but I think my main account Arg has like a bunch, so I can check on there later. I meant to turn them in, but I never did. Arg, just take it. Take it. Oh wait, to furniture dealer Seelus. Where's Seelus at? Furniture dealer? Yeah. Does every town have one? Every town has a furniture dealer. Yeah, well, most towns do. But I think it's a specific guy. It is. It says Silas. His name is Silas. Where is good old Silas? I don't know, actually. With that one. If you've met him, you can do an NPC search. Just go up to, uh... Go up to the right-hand side of your screen where it says find the NPC with a little magnifying glass and click on that and just type in his name yeah. to see it. He's, if you've met him, he'll show up. He's in, he's in value. There you go, that one's I'll easy. Oh, I know who he is. He's he's the giant. Now that I think about it. My hobby is gathering mushrooms, and my specialty is mushroom alchemy. Wait. Looney is supposed to be male? I never got that. I kind of thought they were both female. Interesting. A lot of war horns going off. That's nice. How can I damage you? Oh. There we go. One crazy thing about Archer, especially though, is because you attack things from so far away, you can't always loot them readily. Your best friend, Deplore. Who? Comrade Deplore. Family name Deplore, the stupid fucking Sork from who? Oh, totally forgot. I forgot what their first name was. That, that was the evasion meme, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
What happened there? Nothing. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Your, your aggress is gone now, right? Uh, I used it up like two an hour, two hours ago. Mm. You don't get access to aggress until level 60, and even then you have to do, um, I think, uh, Bartali's lore book too, so there's that. Agris, it's like they don't want to, it's like if they don't fix Agris and make it work like the way it should work, I don't know what the, what the, it's Maybe they're going to add more books waste. to it. I think it's how they're going to probably gonna resolve that, they're going to add more books. Because you do burn through it rather quickly. It doesn't last two hours. Nope, it does not. If it lasted two hours, if it lasted two hours... And I go to augment, I would never say shit about the game again. I wouldn't complain. Because I could easily make... With Agra's lasting... A full two hours. Or lasting an hour and a half. Um, I could make... Basically like 300 mil plus a day. Which would be like 2 point something billion a week. And I'd be fine with that. Because... Mm -hmm. I feel like that's what I should be making as far as where I'm at in the game. Right. Um, where you're at, where Charles is at. We should be making 2.5 billion a week easy from grinding. Without having to grind merciless hours. 300 mil a day, right? 300 mil a day at 2.1 .2, mil. If you grind every day, 7 days a week. If you do it 7 days a week. But with Agris, you can make you can make over that. Um, if I made 350, close... Yeah, 350 mil a... I can easily two two point three billion two point three billion a week for me. I'd be fine with that because if I did that every day, not that I will, but if I did, that would be like like fucking eight billion in one month. I feel like that's progress, even if I don't buy anything. Right, that's progress, and that'll keep you playing the game. I could just save because where where most of us are in the game. We're at that point where we got we we're fi we're finishing up with Ted Accessory and we got to get pen armor right. to catch up to these assholes, right? That's the only way players in this in this state where we're at are gonna catch up to us by making you know good money a day. I'm not gonna grind seven hours a day. The most I'll ever grind if Agris lasted two hours would be three hours. Well, you've taken breaks and grinded in between, same as I have. Yeah. But if Agris lasted like an hour and a half, I could make over 200 mil. Mm -hmm. In one grind session. And all I had to do was grind one more hour and make 300 mil. And that would be the, you know, the 300 mil a day. And I could play the, that's cat, and I could, and I could play the game and not have to play this shit all day. I could play two hours a day, grind two hours a day, and feel, oh shit, I made my 300 mil, I could go play some other shit. I just leave and Arc with, with, with that mono stuff I gave Arc. Because, but again, that's that's an investment. So I always tell people like life skilling works. It can be useful, but you're going to have to have the money to make that initial investment. When you get that money back, then you keep going, and it's even more money. But unless you have the money for the initial investment, it can be kind of daunting. Because you, you know, bartering and and sailing is the same thing. Like you have to have a really really good, at least like a tier two decked out ship to make bartering and sailing worthwhile. You really do. Because it's all about the carrying capacity, the speed. If you don't have the carrying capacity or the speed on your on your ship, then you're not really effectively bartering. I wonder if the Marnie Stone event also gives Polly's a stone. I don't know. Didn't really check. <clears throat> I think the only Marnie Stone vendor down in Camus Sylvia is in Grana, too. Yeah.
guess Dark got in camo. Forgot about that. These weird beefs these guys have in these guilds is pretty strange. Like what? Like just same pussy black rose and all this weird like tough guy internet tough guy shit that's just such a weird thing you're calling somebody a, you're calling somebody a pussy in the game in the video game think about that it is they have they, they've built their own drama though because they need it in order to enjoy the game Balf was in here talking about that. They're sitting there like, it's just, it's not, it's just, I look at it and I laugh, I go, God, like, like, I sit there and I go, they just shit talk each other's guilds and I'm like, like, who are you? What do you look like in real life? <laughs> I have to wonder. Wonder not longer. A lot of them stream, so. Some like shit like like yeah. this guy th this guy they're going back and forth like this guy is saying just like 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 for you to have to care to to get yourself involved right like this guy says if your meds are free then use it because you're probably sick in the head thinking aftershock it's a siege guild don't let the door hit you on the way out I'll, I'll drink to that like why 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 care enough to say that you know what i mean didn't aftershock like, own regions for a while i thought they did that yeah, they did, but this, these are people arguing about who's a siege guild and who's not, and who, and shit talking to each other. I'm just confused as to why, why care. Exactly. Like, <laughs> well, bragging rights, I guess. It's the same reason people do anything with when it comes to anything competitive. Yeah, it's internet though. You can't see. It's just, I just maybe because I come from a real life competitive background, and these right. people probably never competed in their life in front of someone else. So there's uh, gonna be a difference there, yeah. Yeah. Entirely. It's why I, the, probably why I think the way I do. Yeah, I also find it weird the whole esports thing. I mean, when I went to school, I'm not even that old though, in my 30s. So when I went to school, esports. Esports wasn't a, a thing. Like it, th that kind of arrived after I was done with high school, college, all that. And I, I, I still, I, I still find it kind of strange. I'm like, wait, there, because I was looking at a documentary talking about, and I was like, first of all, I was like, there's a documentary about this. Second of all, I was like, <laughs> I, I was like, I, I was, I didn't even finish the documentary. I think it was on Netflix or something. Uh, but I was like, I think Netflix or the other one. Amazon Prime? Netflix, probably. Um, and I was watching it and I was like, wait, this is how this thing works? So it's, it's, it's basically... It's basically like a sports team, but not really. And it's like, they make them live together. And they're on the campus for the school. And they are the school's team for esports or whatever. But they're actually also their own team at the same time too. I, I don't know. It's very really strange. And then the team is sponsored sometimes by endorsements from, like you know, peripherals for computer systems or systems themselves or energy drinks, etc. Or a mixture of yeah. both. And part of that also goes to the school. So it's not exactly the same as like you know football or basketball. Like it's like tied to the school only because the students are there and these guys have a whole curriculum that's not even dealing with like some of them not even dealing with like software engineering or computer engineering or game design or anything like that 
they have like a whole curriculum based around them playing video games. And I'm like, wait, what? How does that work? Like, like, like for example, like we're playing Black Desert, and no one like came in to you know teach us how to play Black Desert. So that's why I'm like, I'm like confused. I'm like, I'm like, what is this? Like, is it like? Is it like so? It's, it's more like I guess like, like a way to monetize the whole thing, a way to make it more of like a job. But at the same time, it's like I don't think that was the original intention for games in general. Uh, although, although I don't know, maybe you can make the same argument, albeit kind of loosely, I guess, for you know, football, basketball, that sort of thing. But it's it's a weird concept, so in my book, it's just it's a very odd one. I yeah, I think I mean it's gonna. It's its own, it's its own sp sport now, I guess, because there's I guess billions of dollars. In, in it's on ESPN too, so, so, yeah. So it has a lot of advertisers, know. so yeah, that's one thing. But these kids or these dudes that play, I mean, like that, that compete in those, you know, those FPS games and all that shit, and those fighting games, mm -hmm. um, like um, what is that from Blizzard? Uh, I played it for a little while. Destiny? No, not not Destiny. Their esports game. Uh, um, Hearthstone. No, they're with the heroes. Oh, Wow Heroes. No, the one with the guns and the guy with the skates. And oh, o Overwatch. Overwatch. I played Overwatch. I liked. I played. I played it. Uh, I was getting good at the PvP in there. Um, these guys, they play that game. They play and they train. And they look. A like all day like yeah they practice eight hours a day nine hours a day ten hours a day sitting there doing strategies and all this stuff like like yeah. unless you're paying me 50k a year without winning mm -hmm. 60k a year without winning this is this is my salary i'm not doing that yeah, that's why there's sometimes drama in the house, because apparently they also get um, people on the teams from, like, out of state, out of country sometimes, and bring and they get, like, a scholarship to that university to live in these houses. But I'm so confused about the setup for these houses and, like, like you know, how, what's going on there, because you have to live in this, in this house with these people, and some of these people want to have, like, lives at some point, so it causes drama in the... Um, on the team because they want the team to live together in some of these circumstances and I'm not really sure why I, I guess I guess to your point to constantly train always be training and stuff like that but it definitely isn't the same as like you know football or basketball or anything like that no it's not the same I mean if you want me to play video games you know on stream for your company and and sponsor me and this and that I better be making without 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 donations and shit like that I better be making 50 60k plus for me to even consider ever doing what, that be, being on the esports team like just playing games for a living mm. yeah I think that's a very niche feel playing games for a living I like I like recording though and making edits. I, I I really like that a lot. I miss doing that because I used to do it a lot when we were raiding. That's where I would get my fix for that. But since we don't raid, gotta find other things to record, other stuff to do. I mean, I'll probably stream eventually. Um, once I get out of my sister's place, and I move down to Florida, and I have. And buy my place and everything. Mm -hmm. I'll probably stream while you know for fun, not for a salary. Yeah. Obviously, I'll probably make money if I if people start seeing that I'm a you know whatever. Um, but it would be just for fun, something I do on the side. Like when I'm playing, I'll pull, I'll go live. Right. And fucking and put my face up on the thing and everything and blah blah blah. blah. And people donate and I wouldn't need their money, but I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I mean, if if what's his face, if that blue-haired weird kid ninja, could could fucking and 
well, he might be a, 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 a good player in Fortnite, like a, a, a slight. He's not like the best player. He's not um, like before he started winning Fortnite, he was streaming whatever. And he had, a, I don't know what his thing is, but he had a lot of people watching him. And I watched his stream and they're stale as fuck. So if a guy like that with very little to no personality, just a weird kid with blue hair can do that. <laughs> anyone can do it looks better than him and has a better personality than him which would be like 99 percent of every the fucking country well it's a marketing thing though it's marketing and sales so yep you have to have that's where the in. money comes from yeah yeah no but i mean you have to have your in in order to because you're saying he doesn't have personality but 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 he has a he has a market he has a niche he has a gimmick um that that's why that's why they're pushing that so um yeah his gimmick is that i'll fucking destroy him in any game he plays <laughs> fucking weirdo. I honestly have no idea who you're talking about, but I, all, I, all I can Ninja, think about his name is, is his name is Ninja, and he has blue hair. Yeah, look him up, Ninja. He's on Mixer. He used to be on Twitch. But look up Ninja. Uh, he Mixer. made millions of dollars. Sony sponsored him to go to Mixer, and they gave him like ten million dollars or something. Fucking weird ass. Fucking Jesus, man. Well, they have to have some level of personality. Plus, 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 I, plus, I'll plus let Charles. Marvel. I'll let Charles just because he was good at Fortnite. So, he, but he, while he was playing Fortnite, he was getting a following, mm -hmm. and then he won some Fortnite something, all amongst other players too, whatever. And he just, I don't know, but if you ask Charles, Charles knows more about because Charles, Charles is a dirtbag searcher, <laughs> um, and Charles will tell you that kid is stale as fuck. Like he's whiny, he whines, but he's just, I feel like beating the shit out of him. Like, I, he got way more, a lot of followers too because Drake happened to, he lives in Drake's neighborhood or something like I used to or whatever, or whatever. Cause like you know, the he singer? got the, like the singer, he came on his stream. Mm. Uh, and then I, and then, I, I don't like Drake either. I'll slap the shit out of him too. He's a beta <laughs> man. Like, <Yeah>. it's crazy. <laughs> well, see, that's where that marketing, sales, networking. Because it's all marketing and sales. That's how you get yeah, all that stuff together. Yep. So you have to be good at marketing and sales. That's really where it's at. I mean, I'm a product myself. I mean, if that kid's a. Oh my god. Oof. So I got my monitor, 165 hertz, mm -hmm. and I have my other Predator 31 widescreen. I had to put that somewhere because it's big. <laughs> so I'm not using it right. I'm not using it right now. I'm using the 140, the 165 hertz smaller, the IPS Predator. I have two Predators now. I have the fucking widescreen big one, the curved monitor, and I got the 165 27 inch IPS monitor. So I'm putting the big one away so I m move, and I'm when I set up my place, I'm gonna have two monitors. I'm gonna use that big. I'm gonna have a big table. I'll put that the big one on the wall, right above where I play, so I can just look up. Um, See, I want to use something like my, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, the, like mount the TV somehow or something. I don't know. So the one that I got today is another Predator, but a smaller one, IPS. This one's cool because this one has like a tilting, like um, a telescopic, um, um, the stand. It goes up, it goes, you know, it tilts forward, it tilts back, it goes up, it goes down, but it also tilts in different, like, diagonally, up and down, and it can go completely horizontal, diagonal, and I can put it on portrait, and have the monitor completely up and down, like, um, like, instead of being, like, the wide way, it's up the long way, up and down. Okay. Just, just by turning it, it I could just turn the monitor like a wheel, like if I'm driving, all the way around 360 degrees. So apparently Charles said that's good for, I mean, I don't use it for those methods, but you can turn the monitor, put it all the way facing upwards like a building, and mm -hmm. then put it on portrait por put it on portrait mode. He said that's good for doing stuff with uh, certain programs. Um, I was like, oh, okay, that's what that's for, because this thing could tilt all the way around in any direction. Fucking weird. 
I've used a mod like that before for like Discord or like yeah, like stuff like that, the long Slack, etc. Yeah. Put the long way and read like a, like a ledger. Yeah, yeah, just like that you can put it as well. That's cool. I don't have any use for that, but sure. Fighting at pirates was a thing. I remember having to drive the gill ship and whatnot to get people out to pirates because there was fighting happening there. That's that's when, like now, sailing is really, really like the seas are a lot better in terms of navigation. But back then, geez, those were some long ass trips. People would ask me to gill some of them back from the island. Is that McChicken? Oh, it's not, that's a McChicken. Where? A McChicken like the food? No, it's Harlan. Sorry, I was thinking. Ah. Uh. A, a wild Harlan has appeared, huh? Streaming. What about it? Anu. Heathcliff. And Sagittarius. I forgot to change the voice in this one, so. Marsha was always kind of amazing though. How many skill points do you have with him? Um, I have 108 unused. Let me check here. Yeah, you should go to Awakening and get some quality of life skills. That'll make your grinding easier. You won't lose any of that stamina. Let me see what I got. These things won't stop shooting, though. There we go. I have 766 skill points. And I have most of the things I can get currently after D7 and Awakening. Yeah, I have everything I can get, actually, right now. When, when you uppercut yeah. like that, you can hit, you can input uh, forward left click, and you can activate piercing cry right through people, right through stuff. Oh yeah, I've been doing that. See, yeah. like with this one. Oh, I did it backwards that time though. But yeah, I've been doing it when I meteor shower. I've been doing it afterwards. Bolt of radiance. You want to get that? It's your hundred percent in pre awakening. That'll kill packs of mobs. Yeah, you wanna get Wait, which one? Is that an awakening or non-awakening? That's pre-awakening. 
Bolt of Radiance, where is that? Yeah, so like, every, anytime you Zephyr Leap, it's all the way at the bottom of Pre-Awakening. Mm. It's your shift right click, I think. All Pre-Awakening. All the way at the bottom. Shift right click all the way at the bottom. Skull Bolt of Radiance, 100%. Mm. So see how you did Arrow Explosion right there? Yep. So... Bolt of Radiance stack. is a lot stronger than that. Yeah, that one right there. That skill is a very good skill. Bolt of so Radiance, like any yeah, I see it. There we go. Yeah, so like anytime you Zephyr Leap backwards, uh, you can like do Bolt, you can like throw a Arrow Explosion or do a Bolt of Radiance. I gotcha. Wait, I was able to piercing cry that one time. Yeah, you gotta you gotta know the timing with the activator. It's like it's like uppercut then left click right after. It's, it's like there's a little. It's kind of one of those things you have to feel out. There we go. Yeah. I wonder if you have uproot. Hmm. I wonder if you have uproot and Spear of Sylvia. I couldn't see your awakening tree. Could you open up your awakening tree real quick? Yeah. I'm gonna grab these guys. This guy behind me. Awakening tree. I'll make life super easy for you when you grind. Watch. Oh, something is hitting me. It's just closing this. This guy here. Good awakening. So you see Spear of Sylvia? Mm -hmm. So Spear of Sylvia, um, you what you could do is slide into the pack of mob and activate Spear of Sylvia. Yeah, I've been doing that from uh, time to time. And that'll pull them in. And as soon as you pull them in, right, you pull them in. Um, uproot. Um, as soon as you pull them in, you can uproot, which is the back, the, like the backflip kick he does in Awakening. Mm -hmm. And then you can do um, Radiant Explosion right after. That's a good combo. Or you can do uproot. That's can't see because there's something no no Uproot oh. is right there. It's, it's in the. It's like the second skill. Backwards F. Yeah. Yeah. Back F. That skill. Believe it or not, is like in PvP, it's broken as fuck. Yikes! And then you could have thrown. You see how it threw you backwards? Yeah, I gotta do that radiant. You could have thrown arrow explosion, or and then throw a bolt of radiance. That's kind of like the rhythm with him. How you fight? Where, wherever you get, wherever you land. You have an attack for that for that range. There you go, like that. And then boom, Spirit Sylvia, boom, and you can get right out of it with you can get right out of it with Meteor Dive. Into uppercut, piercing cry, and it's whatever you want to do. You can You can also uproot. Luthragon's call, which is shift right click, I yep. think. That one's that so you can uproot healing. and then cancels the, the charging animation and he'll do Luthragon's call in the air and let it go while he lands on the ground. So it'll, oh, it'll cancel that whole pulling back and it'll go right into you can back F Luthragon's call. Oh, I see. Yeah, you don't you don't do the full black flip when you do Luthragon's call out of that. Yep. So if you do it faster, he'll even do it faster than what you just did it on the screen. Mm. You just gotta input the command as soon as you do back F, shift right, boom, and let it go. Oh, 
also have down smash on that um, whole um, bomb thing too. Yeah, that's a good one. One of your other great skills to cooperate in there after you land is full bloom. Shift E, I think. An awakening you or should non -awakening? be pop. Not awakening. That's one of your best clearing skills. It's the one that shoots the that one right there. That skill right there. Okay. So you, what you what you want to do with that is, um, after you do something like 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 um, um, let's say you do uh, a spear of Sylvia, uproot, radiant explosion, you land full bloom, full bloom. It gets really strong once you get to the level. Okay, I'll check it out. I think I have everything in Awakening actually max up for my level. That's the thing. Yeah. Right now, at least. Full Bloom is right there at the top. Yeah, it's a, it's a good skill. It's a good knockdown. I don't know if they changed the knockdown, but it's a good skill. Yep, there's that nice little piercing cry juke you did right there. I used to do that shit all the time. Yeah, I like Chris and Crow a lot. There's different, there's, you can activate it going side to side, but that's yeah. a little bit of mechanical ninjutsu stuff you gotta learn. You can go, you can move sideways, sideways, piercing, cry back. Sideways, sideways, piercing, cry back, forward, piercing, cry back so. in the other direction. Yeah. Yeah. Learning how to do it sideways takes a little bit of keyboard ninjutsu. You Archer, a fun class. It is. It's nice that I guess it's awakening early on too. The backstepping while doing damage is nice as well. So you jump pretty well. bunch of changes to Fallout 76. I, I've been meaning to ask someone. I know some people in the guild got it, but I don't think Red reinstalled it, so he doesn't know. But I've been meaning to ask what they think of all the new changes. I still probably will never play it, but especially after everything that went down with it. So curious.
your spirit, Des. Do of Tranquil Force. I might make more Monos processing stuff too. More Monos gears. Because once you get that stuff up, it yeah, it's an investment, but you can make a lot of money with it. Like when you like, for example, getting like to like one k and over processing, the gains are insane. Uh, just. Those are some nice combos, especially yeah, the bomb and then shift right. So I was I wasn't really using shift right all that much. I don't even have the skill item for it, but I might switch it out for when I do have currently.
Here, let me take a quick break. I don't... So I'm thinking about grinding some other stuff in camera, but I might switch back to my other account. Let's spend some AFK training. We'll see. But that was a fairly good grind. I think I got a lot of trash there, yeah, 17. For the pets I have, not bad. Plus, they're also hungry now, too. If I feed them. And I don't have food to feed them. So many reasons to wrap it up for a sec. But yeah, you get all this free stuff with all these events. These things, these, these rings and whatnot, accessories. That's just with the subjugation. But yeah, this Oasis gear and whatnot. Not bad. Oh my god. Oh, what time? Oh, sh well, yeah, I could get a grind in and then get aggress back up later and then grind again. I might spend the aggress in Argus account. I'm debating. No, game I liked a lot when I first started playing a lot of them. Like I, I liked Star Wars: The Old Republic. Mm -hmm. S W T uh, Soul Tour. Yeah, that one was a good one. I played a lot of P like I, I like once I got like really far in the game, I played a lot of PvP in that game. Um, but I always like. I imagine a Star Wars game like that, but with Black Desert's graphics. Hmm. Imagine a game like that, that world, but with Black Desert's graphics. I probably would have never. I, I probably be play, be playing it right now. Still. Whatever happened to Sword? I know they went like free to play, still but around. not really. Still around. Like things are behind payment walls. I think that's basically what it is now. Yeah, it's it it's still around. It's still players play, but why can't just someone make a game with Black Desert graphics similar but Star Wars? Right. The game has a shit ton of content. Right. I remember that. they put a lot of things in there, I remember that. I say, I'm probably going to switch off of this account, go to Arg's account, maybe do some wiz wizard succession grinding. Although Arg is getting really close to... Well, I'll see what Arg is doing first, then I'll decide if I even want to stream that. Because he's making a lot of money just putting up stuff in the market. So we'll see. Well, I'll definitely put this account in for more AFK training. Okay, training is solid.